when challenges arise, you don't have to get ready to combat them when you're in a, in a state of readiness. What industries do you see emerging from this crisis? There's a ton, um, but I think anything that has to do with the virtual setting of the workplace, I think there's so many ancillary businesses that are going to help support that infrastructure. So if you look at a CEO of a company with 300 people, you know, what are the different things that they need to facilitate being able to have people working from home? What are the things that they can facilitate for people to at least spend part of their time not in the actual physical location? I think there's a million different ancillary businesses that could come from that. Um, but I think one of the biggest trends that will come out of this is the realization that a lot of businesses had that if I don't have foot traffic coming through the door, we die. So what type of internet presence, what type of social media presence can we have that also has secondary, you know, tertiary opportunities for them to buy something or to generate revenue from so that if this happens again, the doors don't completely close. It just opens up another door to become bigger because, you know, that phrase you say all the time, like the only way to be ready is to stay ready. And a lot of people weren't ready for this. And is there gonna be another crisis like this anytime soon? Probably not. But there are micro crises that happen all the time. Like, who knows what the next thing, like storm damage, and all of a sudden you have gotta put a new roof on your building and you have to close. Well, it'd be nice to have an internet presence where you can have people purchasing things through, you know, a website or through social media. And I think this idea of needing to have some secondary side business whether it is just a secondary um, uh, vertical of your business or a completely separate business, there's gonna be something that needs to happen to where if the main thing, if what's bringing in all the revenue stops, that there's something that's at least supplementing and helping ease that. Uh, I think this was a good you know, reality check for a lot of people that have relied on people walking in the door, have relied on being able to have people coming in their restaurant, I think you know, takeout, things like that, people delivery, think that's just for the restaurant industry, but for everyone to realize if everything we're doing right now stopped, what else could we do to make money? And why don't we make that a part of our business plan to supplement it now, but to really, if this happens again, be able to allow us to at least survive. Um, I think that'll be a huge, huge trend that we'll see in just secondary businesses or secondary verticals with inside existing businesses.